Alright, Phil, so here are the diagrams for the steam engine. Um, this is going to be the valve, and here's the piston. So, um, the piston, I've decided to make it so the steam goes in both ends and exhaust from both ends. So, this is going to be some pipe, I don't know. And then, so we're going to have to put a block at this end right here, so the steam doesn't escape. Um, and then there's going to be like a flange here. Uh, that's bolted together, <coughs> and then this important part, so you don't have to get a complete seal, but it'd be good to get it pretty close as uh, close as possible. Um, this is the stuffing box, which I think you like could wrap a cotton ball soaked in oil, um, and then you put that in there so the piston moves back and forth, but still has a good seal. Um, and then this is the track for this. Um, this rod is connected to the piston, and so this here is going to go back and forth and then the right here that's going to go like that um, so then there's the pivot point right there and this does not have to fit perfectly just um, so it doesn't move around too much and then this part is cut open right here um, so it's visible and can be oiled easily and for the stuffing box part I'll make another video at the hardware store um, with ideas that I have. This could be, I'm thinking this part would, could be um, copper test caps um, soldered one soldered to each end of the pipe or something like that and then you bolt those on together with um, like a flat rubber washer or something. Um, and then the stuffing box is a piece of um, copper pipe soldered to the test cap, or yeah, the copper test cap and then a uh, copper washer or something that goes over it and then lets the piston go. Um, so that's that part. And the piston's just basically that. I don't know what you're going to think of that for that. Um, but the steam is going to come in and out both of these inlets. Now here is the valve system that I'm going to work on. Um, if you have any ideas, I need a piece of uh, brass or aluminum that's about one inch, uh, a one inch by four inch piece, five, four or five inch piece, I think, um, one by one by four. Uh, and then, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to drill holes all the way through this. And then I'm going to drill one hole there and there and there and there. So the steam comes, the main steam comes in through here. And then the steam will go up through here. These are blocked by these two little piston thingies. And then it'll go out through there and go to there. Push the piston that way. And at the same time, the steam is exhausting from there and goes up out through this one there. And then the flywheel timing goes and pushes that back, these two things here pushes that one there and one there, steam goes down through there, and then it's pushed, oh, push the piston back, which exhausts through up through there, um, and then I'll probably send you the finished part, so see if you can tap this, um, I'm going to put another piece of metal right over this, uh, it doesn't have to be sealed, because it's also the exhaust, um, and then we can just put set screws in there and make it look really nice. So I think that's mainly it. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to use for these. Maybe like sockets and some bolts. Um, that doesn't have to be completely tight, but best if. Um, I think that's all for now. Um, so I'll send you a copy of this, and then we can talk some more about it.